Hello, hey, I'm Dr. Steve Cianti. The patient that I'm seeing today has traveled uh, uh, from outside of the area, and he's coming in for a consultation and evaluation for uh, a mildly elevated PSA with a positive family history of prostate cancer. He is known to have a diagnosis of prostate enlargement, and previous ultrasound examinations elsewhere have demonstrated this prostate to be between 50 and 60 cc's in volume. He has already secured a multi-parametric MRI study, which I have reviewed. It shows a background of some prostatitis, but there's a region on the left side of the prostate in the mid-gland that is suspicious for prostate cancer. So today, we'll use the Artemis fusion procedure to specifically target that area for a smart biopsy as well as to sample the rest of the background tissue in his prostate. The first step in a prostate fusion biopsy procedure is to evaluate the MRI images. Now we've got an excellent MRI team that supports uh, this project in which the radiology team has uh, really taken advanced training and really learned how to do a prostate specific multi-parametric prostate study. Uh, the radiologist has given me an indication in his report of where he suspects the most significant abnormality to be. I've loaded the images into the uh, workstation software and we've outlined the prostate, that is we've segmented or outlined the prostate dimensions in both the transverse, the longitudinal, and the coronal plane. And you can see the brown line here is a segmentation or outline of the prostate. Additionally, we've identified regions of interest or abnormality corresponding to uh, the radiology report. And so the prostate gland is reported in the mid-gland mid region between the 5, five o'clock and 3 o'clock position to be focally abnormal on the T2 weighted image. And that corresponds to deficiencies in uh, diffusion. I've outlined the regions of abnormality or the regions of interest by referring back to my radiology colleagues' interpretations. And now we're going to export this image file onto a disk and load that into our Artemis device. We've successfully outlined the prostate images or segmented the prostate. We've outlined the regions of interest. And I've taken that image file and now I'm going to load it into the Artemis computer so that these images now can be fused to the ultrasound images which we're going to acquire when we do the procedure. Now I'm just going to segment the prostate ultrasound images in transverse and longitudinal or sagittal plane. Now we're going to segment the prostate in the sagittal plane. Now the software is going to create a model of your prostate. And now we're going to modify that model and make sure it's an exact match line here of your prostate, which we do, that looks beautiful. Now I'm happy with that. That coronal plane looks great. So now I'm ready to load our MRI disc. A very nice MRI image on the screen. Beautiful. That's nice. So now we're going to globally align. We're going to align the ultrasound and the MRI images with the software. And we're going to be sure that these images correspond to each other. Now we're going to fuse the images. The computer now has done what's called a fusion. It's done this precise overlay. Now we see the areas that I've identified as abnormal. And now we're going to put the targets in. It's all done by computer. So we see that we have a number of targets that are laid right into the MRI region of suspicion. Okay, 
so that's a very nice um, demonstration of being able to target the MRI abnormality. And I'll note that that area, if you look at the ultrasound, is quite normal on ultrasound. We see no abnormalities in those regions. So that's, um, I think that's, that's important. Now I'm putting in some general arrows that we want to, any areas here we may want to sample as well. well sampled in the uh, left mid region but uh, certainly in the left base we want to get that area studied as well Regions there. So now we've got a biopsy pattern that's built in here. We may not use all these samples, but this allows us to get some good sampling through the region of that's most suspicious. Now I'm going to finish the fusion, and now we're going to develop our biopsy. Go to our biopsy mode. Now in our biopsy mode, we'll simply align the uh, Artemis device with these targets, and we're ready to go. So Jackie, the area of interest is the left mid MRI target. Left, mid, and that's where the biopsy, the first biopsy is going to come from. Left, mid MRI target. Two, three, four cores through the region of interest, and that's what I want to get. Okay. Yep. Now we're going to go to the, now we're going to go to the left, left apex. Actually, call that left lateral base for me, okay? Sure. Left lateral base. Focused on the region of abnormality with the cores going right through the uh, MRI regions of abnormality. And if we really look at that from a, 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 a sort of a cartoon standpoint or a diagrammatic standpoint, we can see really nicely um, that, uh, that those cores are really focus them no matter how we look at it they're going right through right through the region of abnormality one two three four cores one two three four okay and then again you can see how we've sampled uh, the uh, the right side and then also got some samples out here at the apex and base region on um, his uh, area on the left side we were worried about so this looks very good Again, looking at it in a sagittal plane, well, again, we can see again the cores concentrated through the region of abnormality right through here. Okay, very good. Okay, so we've been able to successfully um, sample both sides of the prostate, but on the region of abnormality, which was the left mid peripheral zone, uh, we were able to really concentrate um, four cores right through the area of most interest. And then we did, uh, we did six cores on the right side, systematically biopsied, that is spacing them out in, in, in good intervals. This advanced evaluation will help to ensure that the biopsy cores really are aimed at the region of the prostate that's abnormal on the MRI scan. This will really improve the accuracy of our diagnostic evaluation. This is particularly important in a man with significant prostate enlargement as we now well know that a 12 core sample in a large gland often represents undersampling and can well miss a clinically important lesion of the prostate. 